Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard. I am Penja and welcome back to Skyhaven, where last time out we welcomed passengers to our little airfield here, and I think the whole process went okay. I mean, maybe some things could have been done a little bit better, but on the whole, I think getting passengers through our airport and, you know, on and off of planes and all that kind of stuff went pretty well indeed. So here's our little airport terminal. So this is where the passengers are going to arrive. They're going to come in here, drive in, they get on our fancy new roads, because now we have tarmac roads, because it's all very fancy pants indeed and they go into our airport terminal where they wait for a little bit i mean it's not the most glamorous of buildings it's not very glamorous at all but i suppose it does a job maybe inside i'd like to think that maybe inside it's really nice it's really lovely inside there it's all very fancy and opulent because as the game sort of constantly reminds us the only people that can afford to you know go on planes and fly about as passengers in the year 1922 are the very rich you rich elite people can afford to do that so maybe inside it's really fancy so yeah there's all sorts of nice bars and restaurants and stuff in there so they come here they have a little bit of a wait then we get our fancy little sort of car out they get in our luxury transport vehicle we go along the very lovely road and then we come down here to ramp number one where there is a person hello handsome passenger hang on a minute hang on a minute i don't think there should be a passenger stood in the middle of ramp number one <laughs> I'm not entirely sure that that's that's supposed to be happening right there. Okay, we have a passenger just sort of left behind. Or they're early. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they're maybe this is where they think they should wait. Sir, can I please direct you to the uh, to the lovely airport terminal over there? there? There's caviar and champagne and everything in there. If you'd like to go over there, that would be that would be great. I mean, I can't even click on you. I can't even click on you to sort of pick you up or move you or anything. Okay, this is unexpected. Uh, I mean, this is supposed to be where the planes come in. This is where our scheduled flights come in. So we've got ourselves a contract with a very fancy sort of uh, fancy plane company and they are scheduling flights to us. And uh, yeah, they sort of come over here to ramp number one. But normally we don't have a person stood in the middle of ramp number one. I mean, you're going to need to move. You're going to need to move because otherwise you're going to get run over by an aeroplane, which is certainly going to spoil your day, I would say. So, OK, right. This is this is odd. But there we go. Right. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I mean, really? Really, this isn't our fault. This is not our fault at all. This is the fault of the flight crew who were, you know, on the plane because they should have checked their passenger manifest. They should have checked to make sure that everyone was on board or off or whatever. And yeah, this poor chappy here has been has been left behind. Okay, we'll have to keep an eye on you. We'll have to keep an eye on you. But uh, but there we go. So normally there's not a person stood there. So the uh, planes you know, sort of come into here and then our little car drives along from the terminal. It pulls up here. Everyone gets onto the plane and then it comes out this way. And of course, they take off along the runway. So yeah, our sort of our ramp number one is now sort of you know, dedicated. It's actually a special ramp that is solely for use by scheduled flights. And as you can see, we've got another couple booked in today. So we've got ourselves that one that's gone which has uh, departed you know, for only a few minutes ago, really. And then we've got one coming in at 12 and one coming in at four. And hopefully by 12 o'clock, the chap who stood in the middle of the ramp might have moved out of the way. Also, we've got our fancy new air cargo building here. So this just stores a great big load of cargo, which is lovely. And we've got in the new large barrel stock building as well. So these are the two refueling buildings. That's the new one. That's the old one. But the new one is better because it's got bays for two vehicles to be loaded up with fuel at the same time. Whereas this one here, you can only have one vehicle so this one is a little bit more efficient in getting fuel in and out of the place however we do kind of want to get rid of this one but there's going to be some fuel in here isn't there there is currently 703 fuel in there how much have we got 703 oh all of it right okay okay so all of the fuel that we have is in the old building that we don't really want to keep well isn't that brilliant okay so let's go over here let's either we turn that one off let's turn the new building off for now so this one here will just slowly, slowly deplete all its kind of fuel. And then when it does, we'll switch that off. We'll get rid of it, switch that one back on and move the vehicle over first. Hang on. Yeah, we'll do that. Move the vehicle over, then switch this one back on and then order in a load of fuel. That's probably, that probably is not the best way to do it. But you know what? It'll work. It'll work. It sounds like a bit of a bodge, but you know what? It'll, you know, it'll get the job done. And then, um, yeah, we're just going to carry on doing the research stuff. Now we did unlock last time this thing here. A little ramp service hanger, which is very exciting indeed. So I think we need to get those in. I think we need to get that in as well. And we have got quite a bit of money. We've got quite a bit of money. We also do have that random man. Hello, random man. Um, so let's get in the surface buildings. So where are they? There, it says ramp service on it. That's a bit of a giveaway. So how does this work exactly? I kind of feel like the ramp service... Oh, hang on a minute. Do they not connect to the... Oh. Oh, they connect to the main road. Oh, okay. I thought they might connect to the... Um 
to these sort of, you know, these bits here, the taxiways or whatever, but no. Um, well, let's put one here. We'll drop one of those in and then it needs some vehicles. Yes, all right. Right, we'll have two of those. We'll get ourselves an extra sort of vehicle slot and, oh, does it need to be linked to some stuff first? Does it need to be linked to some stuff? Hang on, link to all available ramps and then, hang on. I can't see the I can't see the button to buy a vehicle. <laughs> is that it there? Okay, that's that's a little bit wonky, isn't it? Okay, we'll get two of them. There we go. So two of those splendid stuff. Okay, so now we've got some service vehicles. So I assume, yeah, they go out and just make sure the ramps are, you know, in, in good condition and what have you. And then I'd like to start replacing some of the um some of the taxiways. Some yeah, this yeah, the sort of dirt taxiways, the grass ones, into the fancy tarmac ones. But yeah, I don't think we can just overwrite it. I think we have to kind of delete what there is. I think we have to delete what there is and then kind of, you know, rebuild it, which is a bit of a shame. You can't just upgrade what's already there. So I'm going to have to go through and kind of remember where these things are. So like that there, they want to replace with a nice tarmac bit like that. And then we're going to have to keep doing that all the way along, are we? Which is a little bit of a fiddle, isn't it? Hang on. So all the way along there... Let's just get rid of that whole bit there. And then go like this. Tarmac taxiway. Polygons cannot intersect. Okay. What exactly does that mean? What does that mean? What does polygons cannot intersect mean? Hang on. I still can't intersect. Still can't intersect. Um. Okay. Why can't we have that? Maybe because that's grass? But that's grass and that's connected. Okay. Oh no, maybe I've just done something completely terrible. Have I just broken, I've just broken the airfield. I'm really sorry, I'm really sorry, handsome passenger. You're watching this. <laughs> You've got a close-up view of this complete disaster happening. Um, okay, yeah, maybe we can't, maybe we can't connect this, the tarmac taxiway to a grass ramp. Maybe it just doesn't want that to happen. I mean, can we, can we upgrade the ramp? It doesn't look like we can. Okay, right, do you know what? Go back to what we knew worked. <laughs> okay. I mean, it, I had the best of intentions. I had the best of intentions. Do you know what? It's all fun. There we go. Everything's sorted. It's all back together. Nobody look at that. That never happened. Okay. So now, yeah, what's this going to do then? So what's our little, our little sort of ramp service thing going to get up to? If we move time on a little bit quicker, what exactly is going to happen? Do they just run out and just look after this? Oh, where did the, oh, I didn't see where the passenger went. Where did the passenger go? Did we bring the passenger back into here? Maybe we went and got the passenger. Maybe we went and got him and put him in a little car and drove him back to the uh, drove him back to the terminal. I do not know. Okay, okay, right. So, what are you? You are. I don't know. You're not one of the. You're a cargo truck. I wanted to see what this did. I wanted to see what that kind of did, but uh, but no, I don't think we're going to get to see what that's doing right now. It does seem to have a pump. Pump zero is vacant. What exactly is being pumped from here? It, okay, I don't fully understand that either. What are we researching right now? What are we actually looking at? Advanced driver training. That means we can get, ah, we can get fancier trucks. We can entrust our drivers with newer and larger trucks. Okay, that sounds good. That sounds very good. Okay, I mean, let's just keep going on. We've got some, uh, got some flights coming in. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see, we've got one space free. Uh, let's get rid of... Yeah, we want to get rid of a bit of fuel as well. Let's get rid of that one. Yeah, you come in. Fuel and cargo. All very good. Let's move time on a little bit quicker. Right, another one free there. You can go into ramp number six. Okay, so we'll keep this ticking on. We'll keep bringing flights in and getting the money in and all that kind of stuff. We want to make sure that, hang on, at 12 o'clock, we want to make sure that that flight comes in. So there we go. So another lot of passengers. Now, yes, last time out, I was under the impression uh, that uh, this was our first passenger flight. The one that was at eight o'clock in the morning on the day we're on now. I thought, yes, there we go. That's our first passenger flight. But apparently a few people in the comments said, I mean, it was the first one of that day, but your actual first passengers arrived at four o'clock the previous day. I just hadn't seen that at all. I was not aware that that was a thing that had happened. So yeah, while I was sort of going, yeah, we've got our first passengers in, they might well have been our second passengers, which you know, is fine. That is okay. We kind of you know, muddled our way through it and it's all good. And yeah, you know, the passengers did come through. So yeah, it all worked very well. We just might have missed the first you know, initial sort of uh, initial drop off and collection of passengers. So well done if you did actually spot that. Well done if you spotted that our first passenger flight that I was going on about wasn't actually our first because uh, yeah, I completely missed it. Okay, it's 12 o'clock. We should be seeing our next passenger flight coming in any time around now. Is it on time? I don't know. Can we see it coming in? Like, how, how low can we get to the ground? We can get to here. 
Okay, so we should see it coming in. Hang on, let's just move time on a bit quick. There we go. There it is. There it is. There is. Oh, no, hang on. What's that? I oh, know that is right. The Royal Aviation Company. Yeah, that's the one. This is our fancy passenger plane. And there we go. Look, everything is ready. Everything is ready for the people to come and, you know, get, drop off the luggage and all that kind of stuff and get passengers in and out. There we go. Stuff is being moved about. It's very efficient. We are being very efficient. This is splendid stuff. Okay. Ah, right. And yes, we'll bring you in. You can go to ramp number six, please. And that should, I think, use up all of our fuel. That should use up the fuel. Do you need refueling as well? I'm not sure. Hang on. Our fuel is tumbling down, which is all wonderful. Right. Are we on zero fuel? Yes, we are. Right. Pause time. That's run out of fuel. This is all good. I mean, it's not brilliant, but it, it'll do the job. Right. And then we can't remove this app ah, because there is a vehicle. So transfer the vehicle over to there. And now we should. Hang on. Then unlink all the ramps. OK, so don't link that to any ramps. This one here, we then want to switch that on because it can't do anything because there's no fuel, but it's fine. It's all good. And then this one here, we want to get rid of. Now, there was a thing of getting rid of it before, but now the remove button has gone again. You need to stop the building before moving. The building is stopped. Maybe we need to move time on a tiny bit first. Maybe that's what we need to do because the building is off. Oh, this is very confusing. This is a little bit fiddly. Um, yeah, I can't move the building and I can't and I can't remove it either. So we're just be paying maintenance on this building forever and ever and ever. What's that? Pump zero. There's, a, there's something that what is that? What's pump zero? What is that? It's something linking to the ramp service area because that says pump zero as well. But I don't know exactly what that is, what that's linking to, what that's sort of referring to. 252 something in the large barrel stock. There's not, there's nothing in the large barrel stock. Okay, Joe, you know what? That one's been switched off, so that's all fine. This one here is now, hang on, that one there is on. That's linked to everything. Link to all available ramps. Okay, that's good. It's all linked up. And now we just need to order in a great big load of fuel. And that's absolutely fine. We can make that happen. So let's get ourselves an immediate delivery from these guys here. What do we want? 4,000. We can hold to 8,000 now. Should we just get loads? Let's just get 6,000 fuel in for two and a half grand. That'll keep us going for a good long time. And all of that fuel has just come in, which is splendid stuff. So yeah, now we can see, look, we've got two fuel vehicles being refueled at the same time. And there goes another one as well. Okay, that's very good. That's very efficient. Now, if only we could get rid of this building, if only we could remove this building from existence so we didn't have to you know, pay maintenance on it and stuff, that would be ideal. But I'm not entirely sure how we're supposed to do that because it just doesn't seem to want to do it. A few people in the comments have said that we might be able to afford a few more researchers just to get the research stuff done a little bit quicker. And do you know what? Yeah, I'm all for that, actually. We've got ourselves, what, are, what have we got? So salary is 648 per day. Okay, that's relatively expensive. And they use up 20 workflow. Is that right? Or do they provide 20 workflow? They might provide 20 workflow. I think we can get one more for now. Let's get one more in to pay a little bit of money. And yeah, they increase the workflow points. Yeah, workflow points are used for all sorts of stuff, apparently. So scheduling flights and all that kind of stuff. Somebody pointed out in the comments last time, that's how it works. And then anything left over, so any leftover workflow points, we then turn into research points. So, okay, that should be ticking up quite nicely indeed. So we get 99 research points per day by the look of that. Okay, that's pretty good. That's very good going. So hopefully we should get more research done a little bit quicker. Oh, now we can remove the barrel stock building, the old one. I don't quite know what the difference is between when we're looking at it now and when we looked at it previously. But yes, we can now remove it from existence. And there we go. And we get some money back as well. We get some money back from that. Okay, well, there we go. I don't really know what, what changed between when we looked at it just, just now and then when we looked at it just then. But something obviously did and that's all fine. And yeah, we've got a little bit of money back as well, which is very good. Do you know what? It's a little bit empty today. Is it a quiet day for air travel? Or oh, what, five of our sort of bays, our sort of, you know, I need to land now and get some stuff bays, are empty. We've not got any requests. At one point in the not too distant past, we had loads of requests coming in, absolutely loads and loads of them. And yeah, we had to keep sort of turning people away and whatever. Whereas now, now it seems a little bit quieter. It's a little bit quiet. Now, I think the game has been updated. I'm pretty sure the game has been updated maybe a couple of times since we last came to it. So maybe something has happened to, you know, maybe reduce the frequency of flights or something. But I mean, it is it's a bit quiet. It's very quiet indeed. I mean, our, yeah, our, our sort of schedule flight has gone in and out. That's absolutely fine. That's all good. With that in mind, do we want to 
maybe look at getting some more contracts in. Hang on, let's get this research done first. Let's get that done, because that's not going to take too long at all. So there we go, and boom, splendid. Right, okay, advanced driver training done. I want to try and keep up with this line. So are we lagging behind anywhere in terms of this line? Construction, no, and office works. Yeah, we are with this. Oh, no, we've got that. I oh, know that's got a tick on it. We've got that. So we've got that and that. Um, okay, what else would we like? Flexible contracts for fuel. That could be interesting. Long-term contracts with fuel suppliers provide better conditions than instant contracts. Okay, contract negotiating. To get the best conditions from airlines, you need a good presentation of your services. Ah, this means we can negotiate contracts when we go and sign deals with airlines. That could be quite good. What does paper trays do? A workflow boost. I don't really know what they do yet. Still not kind of figured them out yet. Okay. Or construction. We can get the Tar Macadam construction discount. A tarmac stand. That might be a good thing to get hold of. Yeah. Let's get one of those in. A tarmac airliner ramp. Oh, it sounds very exciting. Yeah. We'll have one of those, please. And then with that in, and then we'll get that as well. We might as well get the construction discount before we build anything else. Uh, with those two things in, we might then be able to connect everything else up with all of the fancy, you know, the fancy sort of proper taxiways, the tarmac ones, rather than having, you know, sort of dirt taxiways connect everything up. A tarmac runway. Oh yeah, this is kind of where we want to go, isn't it? This is where we want to go. Okay. Okay. So everything is looking pretty good. Everything's looking very good. Oh, yeah. Over here, over here, it said we researched like loading winches or something, didn't we? We researched loading winches. Did we deploy them? I can't remember. Open cargo management. Did we do that? Now I'm not entirely sure. Oh, we can boost it. Okay. There is a boost that I've just switched on. I assume that's the winches. I'm not really sure. We unlock winches at some point. Hang on. Hang on. Where was that? Hang on. Go to science. For science. Um, it was in... Uh, where where was it? It was, it was somewhere really obvious. There we go. Hoist and winch. So cargo handling boost. Ah, right. It's a boost. Yes, yeah, so that's what we just switched on. So the use of winches and cranes speeds up loading and unloading in the cargo terminal. After completing the research, you can activate this uh, feature in the cargo terminal. Okay, so that's what we just did, I think. I think we just activated a boost in this. Although, yeah, there you go. It's on. And then that's just free. It's just a free boost. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Right, that's just going to work a little bit more effectively. Has this got a boost? The boost for that is expensive. It's five hundred dollars to get in, and it's an extra ten dollars an hour. Do we need that? I don't think we need that, particularly with what's going on right now. Okay, right. Let's just move time on. Let's hopefully get some people coming in, because because uh, yes, we're going to run out of money without you know planes. I think we just had a bit of a blip, just a little bit of a quiet few hours on the aviation front. Maybe there was bad weather or something. I don't know. But whatever the case, things have kind of picked up again now. We've got lots of flights in. It's all looking very lovely. However, we've not done anything with ramp number two because I don't know if it's worth having a look to see if we can sign another contract to get some more scheduled flights in because we have to do a lot less with the scheduled flights. These flights here, we have to kind of click things and go, you go to ramp this, you go to ramp that. The scheduled flights, we just kind of go, right, there we go. We drag the things into the relevant slots. We just go one there, one there. Right, that's that done. And then we can just sort of leave it. So maybe we need to do some more of those and then we can just, you know, leave time ticking by. I mean, we get paid all right for them. $418 for that single flight alone. That's not too bad at all. So, and you know, they don't necessarily need loads of cargo and fuel and all that kind of stuff. So let's go and have a look and see if we can get any more contracts. So we've got contracts available. We can do two. We can do two contracts. We can't sign that one for... I don't know why we can't sign that one. I'm not entirely sure why we can't do that particular one there. Maybe we're not important enough or whatever. I don't know. We can do this one. So that is five flights across five cycles, but they need slightly different stuff. So yeah, the ones we've signed have outbound cargo, but these ones here, they need fuel. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Fuel and outbound passengers. How about we sign up for... That's five and five. That's five and three. Hang on, we get paid the same amount of money. Um, okay, we'll go for five and three. I don't really understand what the cycles count is. Uh, we'll go for that one. So we'll sign that. Okay, and that means we get a little bit of money up front. I mean, it doesn't look like it's very much, but there we go. And then we need to go forth and, and sort of schedule these things in. Okay, okay, right. Let's turn ramp number two into a scheduled flight ramp. Okay. And then we need to go to, we need to go to the next day, really. Or is this just going to be, this is the flight schedule for the day. 
So then, yeah, we've got these two coming in tomorrow, and that finishes that particular contract, I think. So hang on. So tomorrow we could have a flight coming in. Yeah, we'll arrive the following day. It says at the bottom there. So I'm not going to miss it or anything silly. So, yeah, we need to get quite a few of these in. Yeah, look at that. 722 each. I think we're going to be fine with that. So get that one in. Then have a little bit of a gap. Have about an hour. Is that about an hour? Hang on. How long does that take? If we put that right there, that's a two-hour time slot. Yeah, okay. So we'll do that two hours, that two hours. Then we'll give you an hour gap in the middle. And then that one could go there. Ah, ah, right, but hang on. Then we have ramp number one as well. So we could put something on ramp number one. Okay, there we go. So that should then tick over quite nicely. Oh, hang on, accept the changes. Oh, did I just accept those changes? Yes, I did, splendid, okay. There we go, so now those things are in, which is good. Now hopefully then, yeah, can we get, is it worth building? Is it worth just getting another, maybe we wanna hold off on building loads of these until we've got that research done. Let's get the tarmac research done and then we'll start changing the uh, ramps around and getting more sort of fancy taxiway and all that kind of stuff. There's a little way to go in terms of the research. It's gonna take at least, yeah, that'll, I think they'll both be done by tomorrow morning, which is probably okay. In the meantime, we need to keep all this sort of stuff taken over. So there we go, let's just grab lots and lots of these to give us some pretty quick bits of money. And there we go, it's gone to night time. I think we did have one flight coming in. I think we just authorized a flight to come in onto one of the ramps just before nighttime arrived. I don't know if that means it is gonna come in or whether it's just too late. Maybe it's not landed, that's it, it doesn't come in. I'm not sure. No, it doesn't look like it's coming in. Never mind, never mind. So, yeah, we cleared down quite a lot of our cargo. We've got an okay amount of fuel. That is okay. I mean, we could do with topping that up a little bit, but we'll do that tomorrow. Um, so now, yeah, we'll just we'll just do the speedy on thing. We're paying $108 in staff, because, of course, yeah, we've now got four... Is it four researchers? Yes, four very clever researchy people. So there we go. So, yeah, let's get this tarmac stand research done. That'd be quite nice. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, we have to move it on to normal, sort of, well, not normal, but, you know, super quick speed rather than mega speed, because I think, there we go, profit. We're actually making some money, which is nice. And of course, yeah, we built stuff last time as well. We built stuff and, you know, built a thing and, and you know, sort of uh, it made a bit of a mistake with the uh, with the tarmac kind of uh, taxiway there. So, yeah, we would have had a little bit more had I not you know, failed to understand that and we hadn't built things. So, OK, money's looking OK. So there we go. There is our supply coming in of, uh, of cargo, which is very good. So now, can we go back to super speedy time now? Tarmac stand is done. Okay, good stuff. Well done, researchy people. Um, let's get, yeah, the tarmac construction discount. Let's get that done. Makes perfect sense to do that. Because, yes, why would we not want to do that? Because we're going to build tarmac stuff anyway, so we might as well build it at a cheaper price. I'm also hopeful that this research can be done by the time the day starts. I think it might be... We might be pushing it a bit. I don't think we can get it done by seven o'clock. No, never mind. Never mind. That That's a bit of a shame. It would have been perfect to have had it done by seven o'clock. But you know what? Never mind. Oh my goodness me. Many, many big flights coming in. Um, So yeah, that's not too much of a bother. What we'll do is we'll change this, uh, you know, change everything over on the next night. So when all the planes have gone, nothing's coming in. When it's dark, we'll then replace everything with lovely tarmac things. Because yeah, we might as well. I mean, yeah, we're getting the discount. Do we just want to go and get the runway what does that do as well technical standards for roads better prices for building roads okay that could be interesting i suppose then yeah tarmac runway would also go down very well time is moving on while i'm looking at this i possibly should pause that um yeah that'd be quite good because then we can have a tarmac runway and an exit for a tarmac paved runway so yeah we can get everything all nice and tarmac that could be quite good yeah, that's probably worth doing. Right, and let's get some... Hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. Right, let's come, Let's get some things in. Um, You, you want a massive big pile of fuel. Good grief. Um, Yeah, you can come in because we do need to order some more fuel in anyway. And you can get rid of some cargo. There we go. We'll have you two coming in. Um, Fuel, 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 fuel. That's that's not the right window. Let's press the right button for that. There we go. So, um, yeah, if we get another 6,000... Yeah, we just need to use up a tiny bit of fuel. There we go. Right, we've got 4,700. So yeah, spending about half our money on getting our fuel nice and sort of topped up. But there we go. That's probably worth doing. Yeah, that'll just uh, sit around and be brilliant in the long run. It can just sit there. We don't have to worry about it too much. And then, yeah, let's just move time on nice and quick. No ramps available. Because of course, two of them are now taken up for sort of scheduled flights and stuff. There's that one coming in, which is good to see. 
Is that our first one coming in? That must be... Yeah, that must be that one. It looks like maybe it's arrived a little bit... Hang on, hang on. No. What have we got coming in on number one? Oh, that must have been the old... The, the, the end of the other contract we had. Ah, okay. So why isn't that one there on ramp number two? Or has that come in and gone off of ramp number two? Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, now I'm a bit confused. Hang on. Hang on. Who... What, what happened to... What, where's this one? <laughs> Where's the one that should have come in at seven? Or is that going to be scheduled in for another? I know there's two more rounds of that. I see. I see what's going on. That's what the cycles means. Okay, right. So on the next day, we're going to have another one of these. So yeah, that should go and go down to two once this flight lands. Right. Okay, right. I'm with you. And we've done the sciencey thing. Okay, good job. Um, yeah, okay, right. Hang on a sec. Go over to here. Uh, yeah, tarmac runway, please. Research that. 16 hours that's going to take. 16 hours. We do have 10... When, when did we get 10 grand? When did that happen? I'm completely oblivious to the fact that we suddenly got 10 grand. Um. Okay, we'll appoint another researchy person then. Let's get another researcher in. When did we get 10 grand? Oh my goodness me. Okay, that's completely brilliant. There we go. Um. Right, let's just keep things going until the next day, really. We need to get to the next day so we can then, you know, replace all of the airport with lovely sort of proper tarmac sort of uh, roadways and everything else. So, yeah, we'll just move time on, keep bringing the money and all that kind of stuff until it's about seven o'clock in the evening. I've just remembered we unlocked fancy vehicles a little while back, didn't we? Before we went down the road of sort of getting loads of tarmac kind of paving and stuff, we unlocked fancier vehicles. So, yeah, I think, is it worth just getting rid of some of our older vehicles and then getting fancy newer ones in because we might as well have the better vehicles yeah that one there these vehicles can hold more stuff so they're a little bit more expensive to actually buy but that's absolutely fine and they cost the same to maintain and they kind of you know they're able to deal with the same size of aircraft so it makes sense to have those in so if we buy one of those but then how do we get rid of them sell vehicle okay right sell the rubbishy ones and get there we go We've got four of the fancy new ones over there. And in fact, yeah, we've got an extra vehicle in there as well. Um, this one here, have we got new vehicles in here that we could buy? Right, so none in there. So the sort of maintenance vehicles are the same. Okay, absolutely fine. Okay, what about the cargo vehicles? Let's have a look at these. So bring that back. The button has disappeared into a slightly odd place. Yeah, these ones are better. They can hold more stuff. Okay, so we need to get rid of those ones there get two of the new ones, and then we're just going to have to keep our eye on those and just make sure that when they're not doing anything, we can then get rid of them and replace them with the fancy building, uh, fancy vehicles. Okay, and then in here, did we unlock fancy vehicles in here as well? Uh, yes, we did. The DMG-10. Okay, let's get rid of that and buy a DMG-10. Okay, so that's the... What was that? That was the baggage gate. And then the passengers... Did we get a new vehicle for them as well? Um, hang on, that's confusing. At the same window, weird button press. No, they're still on the right omnibus. The lovely, lovely right omnibus. It's the most capacious motor under a thousand in price. Yeah, okay, so we'll have that. And we don't need more vehicles over there. We don't need a lot of extra vehicles. It's absolutely fine. Right, so it's just watching this over here. Just watching this over here and then replacing the old vehicles with the fancy new ones. And there we go. We've now got five of the fancy, big, super spacious vehicles, which should make this place even more efficient. Because, of course, yeah, they don't have to make quite so many trips. They can now load quite a lot of cargo onto one vehicle and then just take it all in one visit rather than having to drop off a little bit and come back and restock and all that kind of stuff. So there we go. There we go. We've upgraded some of our vehicles and we've still got around 7,700 monies left. OK, this is going very well indeed. Very, very happy with all the monies coming in. Okay, so seven o'clock has rolled round. It's currently night time. So we've got a few sort of planes coming in. I think we have got another one coming in, possibly. No, maybe not. But there we go. So we're slowly clearing things out. There we go. Fly away, everybody. Fly off. There we go. Right, so you lot going, you're going, you're going. We're about, what, about three quarters of the way through researching the lovely tarmac runway. And we've somehow got about 12 and a half grand. Now, some of the, um, some of the flights coming in, are requiring an awful lot of fuel. They require 700 or, I mean, one of them was 875 bits of fuel, but they are paying an awful lot of money for it. They're paying loads and loads of money for that. One of them was paying sort of almost $700 just to get that fuel on board. So that's why we've got quite a lot of money. So now, yeah, we'll just wait for that to get complete. In fact, I don't think we need to wait. 
I don't think we need to wait. In fact, you know what? We might as well get it done. Then we can do everything in one big go. We'll put it onto super speed mode. There we go. Tarmac runway is done. So what do we now want to get? Technical standards for roads. Market research to find a better contractor and have better prices for road building. Do we need that? Do we need better roads? I'm not entirely bothered by that. That seems a little bit of a... That seems a little bit of a, yeah, a, a nicety. It's a nice thing to have, but we don't need it. Where do we want to go next? It's looking out. Like we might want to go and get these done. That's only 33. A DMG-10 ramp service truck. Sounds amazing. Looks amazing. Yeah, let's get one of those. Six hours. That'll be done by the morning. So that's not too much of a bother. Okay, now we need to remodel the airport a little bit. We need to get rid of things. How is this going to work with our ramps? This is going to be very complicated because, yeah, if we take ramp number one and two away, what happens to our scheduled flights? What happens with those? I don't know if we can upgrade the ramps. I kind of feel like we should be able to click on it and upgrade it. Hang on. Do you know what we could do? Where are the ramps? There we go. There's a tarmac ramp. Okay. We can't upgrade the ramps because, because they're completely huge. Okay, right. The new ramps are, are really big. Really big. Right, maybe we don't need lots of these, but it would make sense to have tarmac ramps everywhere. It makes sense rather than having the little grass ones. They're four a day to maintain, which is completely nothing. The only thing is, yes, I do worry if we start obliterating these, we're going to struggle a little bit. However, however, right, do we need to do some, do we need to do some silliness whereby we have to move stuff about? So if we say we'll schedule all these flights to go onto ramp six, can we move everything to ramp six? Ramp six does not have all services. What? It doesn't have paxes. What does that mean? What does paxes mean? Oh, it can't reach. Hang on. So if we put them on ramp five, for example, because we can change the schedule around a bit. So drop all those down to ramp five and then drop that to ramp. Um, okay, right. Hang on. Ramp four. Because <laughs> this, this is the best way to do this. That's going to arrive the following day. Okay, that's that's probably fine. We're going to rejiggle this anyway. Right, so then ramps one and two. Does that just turn them? Oh, I didn't confirm the changes. Right, hang on. Let's put everything back where it possibly was. There we go. That'll do. We'll just force everything onto ramp five for now. That will do for now. So confirm that. Yes, please. So now ramps one and two, we can probably remove. So here we go. This is, this is going to be a voyage of discovery, everybody. Here we go. Right, grass ramp. We can't just delete the grass ramp. Right, turn the grass ramp off and then remove grass ramp number one. This is going to go all sorts of horribly wrong, isn't it? This is going to break so many things. Okay, grass ramp number one, farewell to you. We might need to get rid of all the ramps. We might need to get rid of everything. But then, yeah, our scheduled flights are going to vanish. Unless they go back down here and then we just reschedule them on the new ramps, possibly. Maybe that's what we need to do. Hang on, can we drop them down here? Aha! Yes, there we go. There we go. We'll just unschedule them for now. Right. Yes, confirm that. None of our flights are coming in anymore. It's brilliant. We're a really good airport. And then we kind of just need to demolish everything. We need to destroy all of the things. Apart from we've got one tiny bit of tarmac just there, which is fine. Right. Get rid of all of this. So all of these road bits. They can all go. It's all good. Right. That's all that sorted. Then we need to get rid of these. Okay. So remove that one. We're getting money back. We're getting money back from these. So this is this is all okay, maybe. Oh, this is this is gonna go wrong, isn't it? This is gonna go wrong. We've just demolished our wonderful, now profitable airport. Right, and then we want to get rid of that grass strip. Oh no, hang on. Yeah, do that. Get rid of that. And then that one there as well, please. So come off that. Click that. There we go. Right, get rid of you. And then the runway can also be destroyed. This makes me very nervous. What if it all goes horribly wrong? Ah, look, you can have arrival runways and departure runways. Ooh, oh, that's interesting. I was thinking we could do that, but no, we can only have one runway. We can only afford one of those things right now. In fact, have we got enough money to do all this? Right, we're going to get rid of this. So there we go. We got 1,300 back. So we need our runway coming in. Oh my word. Right, okay, that seems <laughs> that seems significantly bigger than the other one. But yes, I suppose it's handling bigger planes. So let's pop that down. Which way is it coming in? It's coming in from that way. Right, hang on a second. How big are these things? 
Maybe we should get these things in first. Yeah, they snap to there, look. Okay, maybe we'll move it along a bit. Right, where's the where's the nice tarmac road? Tarmac road, there it is. Right, move that over the tiniest bit. So let's move it over to, in fact, not even that much. Just so there's a little bit of room between, between the sort of control tower and then this thing here. So then come over here, tarmac ramps. Right, this is gonna be this is gonna be amazing. This is gonna be brilliant, everybody. No, that's a runway. That would be less brilliant. Here we go. Let's make it brilliant. Right, okay, so there. There. So we had Yeah. Can we get six of these in? Okay, lovely. Six of those are in. The only thing is now we need to get the <laughs> Maybe this was maybe this was a terrible idea. Right, and then we need to get the runway in. So the runway can now connect and go like I want to bring it over a bit, don't we? So it comes in like that and pop that there. Okay, now there's enough room around the edge of the runway to connect all this stuff up. Now, are we going to have enough money? We haven't got enough money for the tarmac runway exits. Okay, can we have grass strip exits? <laughs> okay, they're, they're expensive. They're quite expensive. Okay. Right, this has gone a little bit wrong. What we might need to do is reduce the amount of ramps we have. How much money do we get for that? We get a grand back from the ramp. How much did it cost to build? A grand, oh, okay, oh no. Yeah, a grand, oh, that's not so bad, right. We need a runway exit thing for this. So that can just snap on right there. Okay, so one of those is in. <laughs> oh, this has been a disaster. This has been a big disaster. The tarmac taxiway is not so bad, however. That's not so expensive. So we'll bring that down to there. We'll connect that up and then connect that to there. Okay, and then we want to connect now. Now here, however, oh, that was, oh no, it's really expensive. Okay, tarmac's really expensive, everybody. Tarmac is is really costly. Okay, right, get rid of that. We're down to these three. We're down to three. <laughs> this hasn't gone according to plan. Right, remove that just there. Possibly we should have waited another day for this. Maybe we should have saved up our money for another day. I didn't realize it was going to be this costly. <laughs> okay, it's all fine. It's all fine. And that can go just uh, there. And then we just need to connect things up as best we can. I mean, can we connect these up with grass taxiways for now? It looks like we can. We might have to have some grass taxiwaying going on. Um, can we afford? We can't afford that. Okay, is there anything we can sell? Can we sell anything at all? <laughs> can we can we get rid of some stuff? Because yeah, this this has proven to be really expensive and and it's not entirely worked properly. It, it's not gone according to plan. Um, okay. I mean, do we get rid of this tarmac ramp? Get rid of that for now, and then then we can at least get grass taxiways over here and connect it up to there. Oh, hang on, connect it up to there. Okay. Right, so there is a taxiway in, and then we've got 615 left. Get the grass taxiway to connect that to that. Okay, right. <laughs> it's it's not perfect. It's like a Frankenstein-esque sort of airport. We just you know, put together with any bits we had lying around. Right, you connect to now the two ramps we've got, <laughs> which was not the plan. We we're supposed to have loads of glorious ramps. Okay, never mind. Right, and then that there... We've got all of two ramps. Ramp number one can be for these scheduled flights. Wrong place, not all so. Ah, aha, right, hang on, hang on a second, hang on. No, we need to connect that up to here as well. Connect that to all the ramps, and there we go. Now we should be all right, we should be splendid. So, fuel and paxes, it says there. Well, that's, that's connected, that's connected up. Maybe we need to move time on a little bit for it to, for it to register or something. Yeah, that's got, it's got a gate down there. Oh, hang on. Why is that not? Connect to all the nearest facilities. Yeah, and you do the same sort of thing. There we go. Now is it working? Now it's saying we've not got... What? Oh, no, there you go. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, good. Right, so we'll have that. And then we'll have that one. Probably a tiny bit later. That one a bit later. Oh, no. We're going to be able to fit these in. Oh, hang on. We might need to do some, some creative... <laughs> hang on. Bring that back a bit. Bring that back a bit. Bring that. There we go. There we go. Right. It's all going to be glorious. It's all going to be fine. Um, right. Yeah. Accept those changes. 
it's not it's not gone entirely according to plan but we can work on this we can absolutely work on this now we can save up and we can get these things done but don't they look better don't they just look better ignore the dirt ignore the dirt track things but don't they just look significantly superior okay right let's get uh let's get time moving um oh hang on time is paused why are we why have we stopped oh because the little delivery truck things coming in i don't need to see the delivery truck coming in which we might possibly not be able to afford. Oh yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be a bit bankrupt in the morning. Okay, right. Maybe trying to change the entire airport in one great big sweeping go was not the finest decision that we could have made. But you know what? It's fine. You live and learn. You live and learn. I've never really you know, run an airfield before. I wasn't really aware of the consequences. So it's all fine. It's all fine. By the time the morning comes in, we'll get loads of those flights in. We shall have some lovely, lovely income, and we might possibly even be in profit by lunchtime. Okay, the research is done. We have ourselves our ramp service truck now unlocked. We are looking very broke. We're looking very poor. Um, let's get the universal air cargo terminal done because it's kind of you know, coming up to that red line sort of uh, creeping along. So I feel like we should have one of those. So a, a warehouse with three loading docks. Well, that's just very fancy. Yeah, okay. And that's six hours. That'll be done by the end of the day. Right, let's get to seven o'clock. Right, a plane should be coming in pretty much right now to hopefully give us great big piles of money. And this one is just open for anybody else that would like to come in. If anybody wants to come into the tarmac ramps, the lovely fancy ramps, we're here for you. Somebody please come in and give us all your money. Right, you, you're willing to come in and give us 341. We've only got the one ramp. We've had a little bit of a little bit of a reorganization of the uh, of the airfield. So you're all going to have to wait for a moment until we can build some more ramps, which won't be too long hopefully. It won't be too long. If we get the money from the, the fancy sort of scheduled flight, that'll be quite handy. But of course, yeah, we're paying every hour on these other things. Right, quickly, everybody, time is of the essence. Right, there we go. Some money, splendid. Um, Who's paying the most? You are. Right, in you come, in you come. Absolutely, give us all your cash, please. Okay, we have ourselves a little bit of a problem. So our incoming flights, our fancy new scheduled ones, they require, they require some passengers to move around. That's fine. But also they require refueling. And unfortunately, we've got 284 fuel right now. Now, I have just gone and ordered another 1,000 fuel to come in. So that'll get the next flight done. But we've only got $38 left. It's not really working properly. And um, yeah, we've got ourselves another plane coming into here. But of course, yeah, we don't want to get any of these planes that need loads of fuel. I mean, it pays loads of money. It pays loads of money. But we just do not have the fuel available. We don't have the fuel available. So we need really more ramps. We need more ramps for more flights and then we need to get more flights so we can get more fuel in all that kind of stuff so yes the big the big kind of airport upgrade has not gone swimmingly well and now we're down 320 again so i mean we get quite a lot of money when these things leave that's pretty good it's very nice when these things depart but yeah are we going to be able to refuel this thing like how much fuel does this need I've no idea how much fuel that needs um, okay, we've done an air, air cargo terminal thing. I think that's probably the, not the most important thing right now. Um, aero snacks. Yeah, get that done. That's another six hours. That's very exciting. Yeah, we might, we might need to go and get ourselves a loan. I suspect a loan is going to be useful just to get everything set up. And I think we can pay it back. We'll be able to pay it back very easily. Um, no loans. Okay, new loan. So how much can we borrow? We could borrow 10,000 of your monies which means we're going to be paying back 20, no, 2,050 a day across six days. If we bring it down, that doesn't make any sense. We take a loan out in one day. That's never going to work. Take a loan out over 10 days. Hang on, hang on. The interest doesn't change the longer we take out the loan. Okay, that means we're paying so we can get 10 grand right now. And then we can pay it back over 10 days. That means we will get ourselves 1,230 a day paid out but I think that'll be fine. Once we've got everything all set up, that'll be absolutely fine. So I think we might have to go and do this. It's it's not it's not gone according to plan. This was not part of what I wanted to happen. But let's grab ourselves that. So we've actually got some money, which is very welcome, which means we can now invest in some more ramps. Really, should we have a mixture of them? I don't know. And there's only a grand, it's a grand for a ramp. So, okay. So let's get at least another three. And then ideally ideally we get rid of that little bit of tarmac there a little bit of dirt road there we'd have tarmac taxiway so that's 240 that's about 240 for each one okay and then to do that that's about another grand to get those bits done there 
So, okay, we'll do that for the sake of completeness, just so then it looks nice. Okay, so tarmac taxiway, connect that, connect that, connect that, and connect that. Okay, right, that looks much better. That looks much better. Um, right, connect to everything. Oh, that works much better. Connect to all the things and connect to all of the things. Okay, we now have five lovely, lovely things here. So this one, of course, is taken up by the scheduled flights. These four, however, are looking pretty good for people to come in. So do we want to do anything else? I think maybe we can work on upgrading this. It's all fine for now. I mean, do we want to get another one of these in? In fact, hang on, we need to get some fuel. That's what we need to do. We need to order an amount of fuel. Let's get, I mean, how much have we got? 2,000. Let's do that. Let's get 6,000 fuel in. This will keep us going for a long time in terms of fuel. So that leaves us with 2,200. I think we get another gate in. Let's properly go. I mean, this is probably a terrible idea. Is this terrible? We can connect that up. Right. Well, do you know what? If it's a terrible idea, it's now a terrible idea that has been executed. So there we go. <laughs> it, it'll all be fine. It'll muddle through. It's all good. Right. There we go. So now we've got ourselves the five, hang on a minute, connect to everything, the five ramps, the five ramps are in where we can have anything coming in. And then we've got the one for the scheduled flights at the moment, because we only need the one. They all fit into this one sort of uh, one uh, ramp for now. Okay, right. Good stuff. Now, now we just need lots and lots of people to want to arrive here and once again, give us their money. Because as you can see, we've absolutely obliterated that 10 grand that we borrowed. Now we've not even got one grand of it. So, right. Can we have some planes come in? You, yes. Welcome aboard. Give us 556 money. We need all the money you can throw at us. It's not looking great. It's not looking great. We've got that lunchtime lull again where just nothing is happening. So we're paying out all our money on boosts and vehicles and maintenance and all that kind of stuff. And we're not seeing much going on. Right, you, welcome. Just come in. Can you tell all your friends about us as well and say that we've got really nice fuel and they should come here and get refueled because it's just brilliant. Okay, so there was a bit of a lunchtime lull. However, things are slowly picking up again. Again. look at that so some money is coming back in now we need to keep a certain amount of money because we're gonna have to pay some money out on our loan so we can't just go right let's just get rid of all the money and spend it on loads of other shiny things because we do need to now bear in mind that yes we have got a loan to pay off that's very welcome though that's very welcome so i mean yeah we're paying out quite a lot of money we're paying out quite a lot of money so right let's just keep the uh, keep the flights coming in but yeah the contract ones are really good they pay quite a lot of money when they get refueled and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, this is what we want to see as well. More cargo ones. More cargo ones. Because we've got loads and loads of cargo on board. Oh, this is wonderful. There we go. Right. More flights coming back in. More flights coming back in. I mean, what time is it? It's coming to five. So we've got two hours. We've got two hours to try and make as much money as we can. Although, of course, yeah, we have to keep paying bits and bobs out. But look at that. That one there, just got 761 for refueling. That is wonderful. You can come in as well. We've got 2,000 litres, gallons, whatever, 2,000 units of fuel remaining. So that's okay. Yeah, we've not got much going on with the... This is this is more like it. There we go. I was going to say cargo. Cargo is just sort of is just sitting there. Oh, now what do we do with this? What do we do with these flights? I don't think we should take these. I don't think we should take the ones with the big requirements for the fuel. I think that's going to end up with us running out of fuel for all the other flights coming in. And then we'll have to order it in. They won't have enough money to pay the uh, loan off and all that kind of stuff. So I'm sorry, you're going to have to find somewhere else. As tempting as it is to bring in $687 in one go, you shall have to find another airfield because we're a bit low on fuel. Sorry. And the good news is that we have researched aero snacks, which is splendid. So now we can offer tea and cakes on our lovely schedule to the passenger flights. So what do we want to get next? We're looking good there. That's absolutely fine. Ah, we're a little bit lagging behind in personnel. Construction is absolutely fine. Office works. Yeah, we've got these to do as well. We've got these to do. I think maybe these are more important. Bus driver training. Okay, that just gives us a passenger boarding boost. Toolkits, ramp service boost, and then fuel boosted pumps, fuel station speed up. That sounds quite good. Yeah, can we do that? Can we research a bit of a speed up for the fuel stations? That could be quite handy. And I think this is going to be it. It's going to roll round to seven o'clock, which is night time. Okay, so no more contracts came in. That's a bit unfortunate. That is a bit unfortunate. We could have taken one of those one of those planes there that need the big load of fuel to give us another whatever it was, $600, $700. But never mind, never mind. That's where we're at right now. So we've got 3,351. This is looking pretty good. This is looking pretty good. We've still got those number of flights scheduled for the next day as well. 
So that's okay. Now, do we do we want to do something a bit different with that? Do we want to do we want to get another contract? Do we want to get another contract in with them and then have another have another one of our um another one of our ramps made to be a scheduled flights ramp? I don't know. Let's have a look. What have we got? Oh my goodness me! Okay, right. There are a lot more contracts available. Right, many more. Um, this one here, five five flights for five days. 719 per flight. I mean, that seems good. It seems like a good amount of stuff. It's not a good amount of money coming in. Um, yeah, they're all much of a much, but these require outbound luggage, outbound passengers, and fuel. Yeah, these are harder to do. They require more stuff. Ooh, and an after-flight check service. Ah, that is what the little sort of uh, maintenance building is doing, is it? Okay. However, they pay less. That pays less. Why would it pay less when we're doing loads more stuff? That doesn't make any sense. How about we sign this? Let's sign this right now. So if we go yes, we'll have five lots of flights across five days. Yeah, so five days, five flights. We'll have to make one of our ramps completely exclusive to this because it'll have to deal with that. But I think that's fine. I think we can work that. So we'll have that. That gives us a bit of extra money as well right now, which is quite important. And then, yeah, we'll go to here. Let's go to ramp number two, please. So we'll do that. Nope, that's turned it off. That's the wrong thing. Let's make it scheduled instead. Um, why isn't that on a scheduled thing? That should have been scheduled. Okay, right. That right. Okay, that was unexpected. Right, and then these can just sit in here, like with these. And the thing is, we're gonna have enough vehicles to service all this stuff. Okay, hang on. It, 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 it we'll muddle through. We'll muddle through. There we go. So confirm those. So that's another 720. That's a lot of money coming in every day. And of course, we've still got the other ramps, the other four or whatever it is, to then you know, carry on dealing with regular business. Okay, right. Let's get through to the next morning. Okay, fuel boosted pumps are now unlocked. So let's get, I don't know, let's get toolkits then because that's the next one up. So there we go. We'll get toolkits done. That will be done by the morning as well. So what does that mean in here then? So we can boost, boost these things. Fuel storage is doing nothing. Hang on. So what does that what does that exactly give us? Because this boost was already there. Unless that boost is bigger. Unless that boost is now more boosted. And I was just not aware of that. Um, yeah. Do we find anything out in here? I do think that this bit could be a little bit sort of better explained. A little bit better implemented. I know it's early access and all that kind of stuff. And they can work on it. This bit does seem a little bit sort of random. It's a bit right, We've got a boost on and off. Is that what we want? Do we want to turn the boost on and off? And does that cost us money and what have you? Because if it does, I don't know if we want to do it. But is that boost there with the the workflow point symbol is that boost there different to this boost here which has got a lightning bolt symbol thing on it are they are they somehow different boosts are they the same boosts um do you know what we're gonna need to do a lot of refueling and stuff anyway so how about we switch that on so is this going to cost us some money no just the boost is on for that building but i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because there's a boost button here that isn't pressed <laughs> I don't know what the difference is. There's two boosts. Okay, right, there you go. Roll, well, let's get the next research done because that will not take too long at all. There we go. Toolkits, absolutely splendid. Right, what do we get now? Bus driver training because, yeah, the red line is almost through it and out the other side. So, yeah, we need to get that done. Just, you know, keep up with the times. And there we go. It is now seven o'clock in the morning. We have a whole new day ahead of us and we find ourselves with a relatively respectable 900 and eleven dollars that's way more than i thought we were gonna have i thought we would be in the red so that's quite impressive however however how do we do the repaying of a loan so we need to pay back twelve thousand three hundred so i don't think can we pay it back in bits um what does that tell us the initial loan size was 10 grand interest was 23 that's why we're paying back twelve thousand three hundred i think we just have to save up that amount of money and then pay it off which should be okay. I think we might be able to muddle through with that. We might need one more fancy ramp. We might need one more of those. And then, yeah, well, that means we can deal with lots and lots of stuff coming in and going out and all that kind of stuff. We might need to invest in a few more vehicles as well, possibly. That might help. And we do have as well the new... We've got the new advanced air cargo facilities going on. That could be quite good. And of course, we've got the aero kitchen. We can now get ourselves some lovely in-flight snacks and food, which is, of course, tea and cake. Of course it is. So, um, so, yeah, we could look at that. But what we'll do is we'll finish up for now. 
and we'll look at all that kind of stuff next time out because uh because yeah i was going to say things have gone well things have gone they went well and then everything kind of went all over the place and went horribly wrong as we tried to upgrade every single bit of sort of roadway to tarmac and obviously that did not go according to plan but we're looking okay again now we're looking okay i think yeah we just get one more in one more of those that means we've got the two scheduled flights and then five ramps for just incoming stuff. So incoming cargo and fuel and all that kind of stuff. I think that will see us through. I think we can then make quite a lot of money very, very quickly, pay off the loan and then just you know, get on with stuff. Just carry on as we were without the threat of, you know, a, a bank manager sending the heavies round to our place to you know steal our aeroplanes and take the cargo away and break our legs and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I think we'll be OK. I think we'll muddle through. We'll just have to see how things go and whether we get lots of planes coming through, I suppose. But we'll do all that kind of stuff next time out because we will finish up for the moment. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, then please do leave a like. That would be most splendid indeed. And if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Skyhaven. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. This robotic arm has salmonella on it. Okay, so we've got two things that are diseased. Be warned about tutorial robot. He's all sort of retro and adorable. I think he wants to destroy humanity. <laughs> Hungry humans, come and order some food. 74% efficiency, oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. There he is, there's the murderous robot face.